Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on this Tuesday evening. Pretty nice outside, warm, not too hot, something I think a lot of people can agree on here. A little light north wind, about nine miles per hour. There you can see the records. And there's the average high, 87, so another day with temperatures below average. We've been on a string of that for about a week. A little hazy up around Great Falls. Uh, temperatures comfortable, 83. The average high is 86 on this date back in 2012. A record high occurred of 102. Nowhere near that. A little warmer the farther north you go in the state. A little cooler down there by West Yellowstone and Cody, Sheridan, Wyoming. By that area of low pressure that's mainly moving across Wyoming. The wind is not that bad again right now. Part of why it's a pleasant day. But that wind will be picking up as we go through tomorrow. A little bit of southwest wind out ahead of that front coming through, and there's the front. Here we are by close to midnight, and maybe a little gust of some wind with some thunderstorms with that front. But behind the front on Thursday, that's a pretty windy day. We'll have to see just how much activity on those wildfires increases in that wind. Speaking of the wildfires, Rogers Pass fire, been assessed at 46 acres now. Not much growth in these fires, and you can see some rain in the area. Uh, the Communication Butte fire, pretty much over with, 100% contained. Middle Ridge fire, no change on that one. The biggest fire in the state this season, the Nyarata fire southwest of Elmo, up over 20,000 acres. Sydney fire here by East Glacier. They did an IRR flight over that, estimated that at 46 acres, not 100. The Bulls Creek fire. Uh, three and a half thousand or so acres uh, burned there. And not much change on that one. On the Elkhorn Fire, the Hayden Fire, two big fires in Idaho, uh, have been seeing cloudy, cooler, rainy weather over the last few days. Helena had a couple of showers uh, here earlier, maybe a few drops out across uh, the valley up there around uh, the Canyon Creek area. Great Falls, quiet, but one or two of these showers and thunderstorms west of Augusta may uh, be heading in that direction. You can see a couple of those thunderstorms here up into the Bob or on the East Glacier area as well. Little belts had a couple little showers, same with uh, the big snowies. And out the high line, a couple of showers and thunderstorms coming through here uh, tonight. But more activity down towards uh, Wyoming moving out into the plain. So with some of this thunderstorm uh, instances moving across the high line here. Uh, through the night, Glasgow, hopefully a little rain tonight, tomorrow, a nice day, warm, breezy, not too terribly high fire danger tomorrow. And here comes this front, five o'clock, it's working its way into the mountains, seven o'clock, Cup Bank, a shower nearby, Great Falls closing in, Helena, the storm likely comes through about eight to nine o'clock. And then that would be real nice to get some rain moving across the state tomorrow night into Thursday morning. And Thursday, a drier, mostly sunny day, but it will be windy. So tonight, uh, still a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms over the next few hours near East Glacier, out the High Line. We could have a couple of showers and thunderstorms. Lewistown generally dry, and the Helena area generally dry. Tomorrow, breezy, warmer, 80s to about 90. 7 to 9 o'clock, Helena, Great Falls. Late through the night, that storm will continue to work its way off towards the east. Thursday, windy, high fire danger. Heading into Friday, the wind dies down. And again, not too hot. Saturday getting a little warmer. This weekend looks very nice uh, here for most of the state. The temperature's going up 98 on Monday, but it's likely next Tuesday we've got another cool front coming.